Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for April 10th through April 16th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my intense, passionate, kind, sweet, loving Scorpios. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on with my Scorps? Let's see, Scorpios, what you got going on. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. And the magician. Well, Scott, that Ace of Cups is leading that reading, which means that you are uh, very much in love with someone. Ace of Cups is that unconditional love. That's agape love. That's God-given love. That's the love that um, is forever love. That's someone that you are... You're very much in love with. There's a lot of intense feelings over this person. But here's what's interesting when I see the Ace of Cups. I see the Knight of Pentacles next to the Ace of Cups. Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy, but it's an energy of determination. It's an energy saying that I'm going, I know what I want, I'm going to get what I want, and I'm going to reach my goal. And this goal is looking towards someone here with this Three of Cups here. Three of Cups means a good time with someone also. Three of Cups means to get back, to rejoin with someone else, to get back together with someone else. You are determined to get back with someone. You are determined to get, because it's in the middle of your reading, you're determined to rejoin, to get back with someone. Someone that you've had good times with, someone that you enjoy. That's what you're determined, that's your determination, because you're in love with them, and you have been in love with them for a very long time, because this Knight of Pentacles is right here in the middle of the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You have been in love with this person for a very long time. But here, I see in the middle, of, in, in the next card, though, I see the Five of Pentacles, which Five of Pentacles um, is a card of feeling um, left out, feeling like I'm not good enough. All of the above. Just feeling like, no, they can't want to be with me. No, I don't have enough money. No, I, I'm not, uh, my skin's not good enough. No, my body's not well enough. No, I have stomach. That's what the five of cups is. It's lost. It's lost. It's feeling like you're just not good enough for this person. But here you are with the magician card, with that magic card. I call it magician, my magi, my magic card. Here you are manifesting this person back into your life, though. There's a manifestation that's going on because you're asking the universe to bring them back because whether you feel like you're not good enough or not, you know that you miss and you love them and you want to be with them. And you're asking the universe to bring them back to you because right now I don't see you guys together. Um, there has been something that has happened here and it might just be that there has not been a realization that they don't know that you love them. I think if you bring, if, if the universe gives them back to you, and when I say back to you, I think you'll let them know. Um, I think you'll let them know. So let's see. If this is your read, please sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes because I want to see what additional information um, the spirit guys want to tell me. Show me, spirit guys. Why is this Ace of Cups here for my Scorpios? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Scorpios? What's going on? Show me, spirit guys. Oh, I see the Hierophant. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so here's the deal. It's telling me. Thank you, spirit guys. This person wanted to be married. 
this person wanted to be married, but you did not say yes. This person was ready to marry you. The Hierophant can represent Taurus, can be anyone, but the Hierophant does represent Taurus sun sign. But it also represents marriage. And here's this Ace of Cups. Why didn't you? Why didn't you? And I know why you didn't. I think because you just thought you weren't good enough at that time. But apparently they did. <laughs> because they wanted to marry you, but you, you turned them down. So now, here is the Knight of Pentacles here. The Knight of Pentacles. And I think you're just determined. Let's see. What does the Spirit guys want, want to give me? What do I want to clarify it with? Let's see. Oh. I have the High Priestess. Oh. I have the High Priestess. So. So, Scorpio. I think... I'm going to tell you, you've been with this person for a while, but you were the other woman. I think you were the other woman. You were not the main person. And I don't, and I'm not saying this person is married, but I think that you were the other woman. You were not the main person. You were the, uh, the person that has just been there that, you know, they've just been there. And then somehow uh, there's been, a, this has been a change though, because I do believe that they have fallen in love with you and want to marry you. But you have been, you were the other woman. You were there, but you just weren't the main. You guys were just having a good time. You were having a good time, hence with that three of cups. You were having a good time with them, but you've been with them for a long time. So let's see. Show me why this three of cups is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the three of wands. Excuse me. I have the three of wands. The three of wands, which is all about future. Yeah, all about the future because they want to. You're not together right now. You miss them, but you're not together. Um, and they're looking at because I don't think you thought you were good enough because you were the other woman. I think because you had played that role for so long that when they did step to you and talk about marriage, you were like kind of taken aback because you didn't know. You wanted it. I'm not saying you didn't want it, but I think it scared you away. And I think um, I think it scared you away. Now I'm also going to say because. I think you've wanted it for quite some time. And I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, you, I mean, you have to be careful not to be revengeful because you didn't get it with you when you wanted it. So now you're pulling back and saying that's okay. You got to be careful with things like that. But here it is, Three of Cups. You want to get back with them and you want to build a future with them. I think that you may have been a little bit revengeful because they didn't give you when you wanted it. They didn't give it to you when you wanted it because they were still with other women or with another woman. And I think you may have been just a little bit vengeful for, of them, but you are in love with them, but you still have re want to get them back. So let's see why this um, Five of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Oh, I have the Seven of Cups. I told Seven of Cups means they have many options. You're just, you want, you, you feel, you feel like you were one of the options. They had many options and you feel like you were one of the options. And that's why... This five of pentacles here because you felt like you didn't, um, you didn't feel like you were worthy of this person because they did have all these options still. They did have options. So let's see why the magician is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the magician card here? I have the page of wands. This is a free spirited person. Um, this is a person that, um, I don't know, you know, Page of Wands is not like to be tied down, likes to do their own thing, likes to roam, likes to keep it moving. This is that the type of person, and here's a magician card, the magic card there though. Um, the magician, um, card over the Page of Wands is that you're hoping that they will tie down with you. Um, however, I do believe that they have come to you and told you and I do believe that you have, have said, no, no. But I think it was out of a sense of revenge. And I'm going to be very honest with you. And I think they've gone on now because there's that page of wands there. I think they've gone on. But let's look at the beginning here, the Ace of Cups. This is someone that you were in love with, agape love, agape love God-given love. And here's the Hierophant, which can't represent Taurus, Sun sign, but the Hierophant represents marriage, marriage. Um, you wanted to be married to this person. And this person at the time didn't, I don't think they wanted to be married to you at that time. 
but I think now they want to be married to you. But here's this Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy, but it's a determined energy. They know what they want, and they go after what they want, and they get their goal. And guess what your goal was, was to be married. And they brought this to you. But I think you had you had a sense of revenge because you were the other woman. When I say the other woman, I'm not saying, I don't even think this person was married. But they had other options, as they see me right here. There were other options for them, but you were not their main option. But I think that they have fallen in love with you, and they want to be with you. But you're being revengeful. Here's the Three of Cups here. This is a Three of Cups. And a Three of Cups is about getting back together with someone. But it's also about you have fun with this person. And that's what it was fun for a long time. But then it moved into realness. Because here's the Three of Wands. They start looking at you as an option for marriage. But yet and still they didn't do it in your time. So you thought you'd get revenge on them and say no. No, I don't want to be married to you now. Because here's the five of pentacles. You didn't feel like you were good enough for one thing because they always had these options. You didn't tell them that. They never knew that. But that's how you felt. But you did know about their other options. But here you are now asking the universe, in this magic card here, the magician, to bring them back to you. Asking the universe to bring them back to you because, because you don't want to do revenge anymore. You want them back because you miss them. But here's what I see, this page of wands. They're free-spirited. I think they've gone on. They're doing their thing. And you have missed out on that opportunity. But they've always been a free-spirited person. That's why you weren't the, That's why it wasn't just one person. But they fell in love with you. But because of your energy, and you told them no, I think they've moved on. And I think that you were trying to be revengeful just to get revenge back to them. Get, get, you know, get them back. For not loving you all that time. Because you've been with them for a long time. By saying no. But now here you are trying to manifest them back. So let's see. Show me spirit guys. Show me angels. Oracles. Show me. Well. Let's see. Well, Spirit guys say you're ready though now. You're ready. However, let's see. And they also say a year from now. So, I don't see this person coming back right now. I don't think you're going to be with this person right now. I think though the next time that you do get with them, you will be with them. And you will not be have those uh, immature doing revengeful things and then lose them. Because your revenge has lost them. For this point in time. But I think there's still maybe in a year from now. There may be some opportunity. Yes you're ready. But now they've decided since you hurt them. They moved on. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading Scorpio.